are welcome in Jesus' name. Praise Amen. the name of the Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. You're all welcome Hallelujah. again Hallelujah. in Amen. Jesus' name. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, bless, bless you. God oh, bless you. God oh, bless you. Yeah. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Bless you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want us to begin to thank God today. Let's thank God for this blessed day that He has given unto Thank us. You, All the things that He has done for us. The Thank Lord has you, blessed us. The Lord has kept Thank us you, safe. Jesus. He has kept us in good health. Lord, he has given us the bread of life. So Thank let's just begin Jesus. to thank the Lord this evening. Lord, let's I'm give Him praise. praise. Let's honor Him. Lord, praise the name of the Lord. Let's enter His gates Lord, with thanksgiving. Let's enter with praise. Hallelujah. Father, we want to thank you. We want to give you praise. We honor you, Lord. We bless you. We give you all the glory. We say thank you, Father, Lord God Almighty, for all that you have done today. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your blessings. We thank you, Lord, for good health. We thank you because you have kept us this far. We thank you because, Lord God Almighty, your presence has continually been with us. We want to give you praise. We thank you for sparing us from the life, O oh Lord Father, from the wilds of the enemy. We want to give you praise. We want to give you praise. We honor you. We say thank you. Thank you for this beautiful day that you have given unto us. Lord, it's a day that you have made. It's a day that, Lord, we have rejoiced in it. And, Lord, we are glad. We want to say thank you. Thank you for making this day so good to us, oh Lord. We want to say thank you. Thank you that we are able to see this beautiful day that you have created. Lord, many have woken up but have not seen the end of the day. Many have woken up but, Lord God Almighty, they have passed away even before now. We want to give you praise. That, Lord, you have given us life. You have given us life. We want to say thank you. Thank you for the breath of life. Thank you for the breath of life. We give you praise, oh Lord. Mariba shata Thank you so much, O Lord. We give you all the glory. We say thank you, Father. Thank you so much, O Lord. Thank you so much, O Lord, for sparing us, O Lord. We say thank you. We say thank you for your grace and for your mercy. We want to say thank you. Thank you so much, O Lord, for the joy that you have given us, for the peace, O Lord, that we enjoy, O Lord. We because, O Lord, Father, of Lord God Almighty, your Son, Jesus, we want to give you praise. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you so much, O Lord, for grace, O Lord, that you have multiplied in our lives, O Lord. We want to give you praise. We thank you, Father. We bless your name, O oh Lord. We say, Lord, be now exalted, O oh Lord. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. We say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the blood that has caused every evil to pass over. We want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done, O Lord. We give you all the glory. We magnify your name, O Lord. Thank you for our children. Thank you, Lord, that you have spread them, O Lord. For Father, every danger, we thank you that now you have watched over them day and night, O Lord. We want to say thank you. Thank you so much, O oh Lord. Oh, for me, O oh Lord, Father, our Lord God, O oh Lord, we want to praise you, O oh Lord. We want to give you thanks, O oh Lord, for standing up on our behalf, O oh Lord, for fighting. Oh, we want to say thank you. Thank you, oh Lord Father, for Lord God Almighty, the Holy Spirit, oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus, oh Lord. We give you praise, oh Lord. Thank you for counting us worthy to be carriers of your spirit, oh Lord. We want to say thank you. Thank you, oh Lord. We say thank you, thank you, thank you for victory that we have in Christ Jesus. We thank you for victory, Lord God Almighty, that you have given us over the enemies. We thank you. We us victory over the enemy through your son Christ Jesus. We want to say thank you. For we, oh Lord, walk triumphantly. 
day after day, oh Lord. We want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for every member of Foundation Ministries, oh Lord. We give you all the glory. Thank you so much, Lord. In Karabashantaya. Thank you for watching over there. Thank you for your divine provision. Thank you, Lord, for your divine sustenance. Oh, we give you praise, oh Lord. In Karabashantaya. Thank you that you have watched over us day and night, oh Lord. You have kept us away from every heart. Oh, we want to give you praise, oh Lord. In Karabashantaya. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. We give you praise, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We're just going to take a few praise and worship songs. Hallelujah. We're just going to worship God. Hallelujah. Uh, we're just going to praise Him because... It is just something that he has created us to do. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we're just going to worship him now. Amen. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. Hallelujah. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor
and prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we are going to continue continue in prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name Amen. of the Lord. Amen. Day three of our fifth month fast. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You are all welcome. Everyone online, you are all welcome. Thank you for joining us. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And I know the Lord will bless you today, Amen. even as you join us to pray. Amen. Hallelujah. You will, you will give testimonies Amen. of today Amen. that the Lord answered. Amen. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. Because the Lord is here with us Amen. and is prepared to answer our call. Yes. He says, call unto me. He says, and I will answer. Yes. Call unto me. He's the one who said that we should call unto him. Yes. And if we call unto him, he has promised to answer. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And he's going to answer us today. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. But before we pray, we are just going to look at a few scriptures. Hallelujah. Amen. Just to Amen. just to help us to, to, to in prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And we're going to look at Matthew chapter 17. Matthew chapter 17 from verse 14. From verse 14. And this is the story about a man that had a son who was epileptic. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And in this scripture, I want to just encourage us. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says that without faith, it's impossible to, want to please God. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Faith is what draws down our blessing. Mm. Faith is what causes what answered prayers. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Without faith, it is what impossible to please, please God. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells us that faith is what the substance of what things hope for. It says it's the evidence of things not seen. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So those things that we are not yet seeing... Those things that you are not yet experiencing, yes. praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Faith can bring them into it. They can bring it into light. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And I discovered that one thing that ups, always upset Jesus Christ when he was around here with us on planet Earth was people without faith. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Jesus was so he was he, he he was so upset in his spirit when he found out about people who don't have faith. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And we are going to discover something here. He says, and when they had come as a multitude, this man had a son that what was epileptic. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That boy was bound. He was deaf. He was dumb. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the devil was what? Just mesmer mesmerizing him everywhere, everywhere. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The man says sometimes he would throw him into the water. Sometimes he would throw him into the fire. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the man with faith. With faith, he, he rose up, he took his son, and he says, My son, let's go to the disciples. I know that the disciples of Jesus Christ are around. Let's go, and I know that you will get healed. And he got to the disciples, and the disciples prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and did everything, but he did not get healed. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, And he now came to Jesus. He now took him away from the disciples and came to Jesus. And he says, Master, he says, Master Jesus, this is my son. He's suffering. He's in, tor he's in torment. <laughs> he's being tormented by what the enemy. Praise the name of the Lord. And he says what? Lord Jesus, help me. Help me. Help me in this. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, and Jesus, what? Spoke to the demons. He says, and the demons were what? They were cast out. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He says, and the demons were cast out Amen. of that child. And that child was delivered. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That is why I know that as we pray in this oh, fire first and prayer, there is going to be deliverance. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because as we speak in faith, Amen. there is going to be deliverance. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And the Bible Amen. tells us now that those disciples, after he had done that, that he came that he, they, they came unto Jesus and he said, and they said unto him, How is it that you are not able to cast out these demons? What was the problem? And Jesus replied, He says, What oh faithless, what and perverse generation. Mm. Praise the name yes. of the Lord. That is why I encourage you today to ginger up your faith today. No matter what the level of your faith is, let your, let your faith increase today. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Let your faith be at a high level today. Yes. Let your faith come to, I mean, be, be raised up today to a level that you have of expectation. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the, he says, oh, you what faithless and what perverse generation. He says, without faith. He says, even if you have the faith like a, 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 a mustard seed. He says, if you speak what to the mountain, he says, that mountain will move. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are going to be speaking to some mountains today. We are going to be what? Doing some exercises today. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But those exercises are going to be with what? Faith. With faith. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says what? All things are possible to them that what? Believe. All things are possible to them that what? Believe. Yes. All things are possible. That is what he says. And the Bible also tells us with God all things are possible. 
possible. Yes. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The Bible also tells me that what? That to them that believe, he says to them that believe, he says they will cast out demons. Praise the name of the Lord. He said they will speak in new tongues. He says they will take up serpents. He says what? They will drink deadly poison and will do them no harm. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And to them that believe, he says they will lay their hands upon the sick. And he says they will what? Be healed. He says they will recover. Praise the name of the Lord. So I see recovery coming your way today. I see deliverance coming your way today. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. As we pray. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we're going to be praying from Isaiah 58. Isaiah 58. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because I discovered something. I discovered that God is pleased with a way of fasting. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is uh, he has outlined what pleases him in fasting. When people are fasting when we are we, we gather ourselves to fast, he, God has outlined what we should do. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm going to read Isaiah chapter 58 and I'll read from verse 6. From verse 6. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And it says, He says, Here is the way I want you to fast. Here is the way I want. That is from the mouth of God. That is from the, so he's telling us there is a way to fast. And I've come to discover that in fasting, when we are fasting, what pleases God is that the first thing we should do is we should concentrate on others. Mm. Concentrate what on others, not yourself first. You should concentrate what on others. When you finish with others, then you deal with yourself. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we will see that outlined here in Isaiah 58, from verse 6 to uh, from uh, uh, verse 6 to 14. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now he says, This is how I want you to fast. Then, number one, that is number one thing we are going to be doing today. He says, What? Set those who are held by chains without any reason. Set free those who are held by chains without any reason. Amen. Without any reason. If there's anything that is being held back from you without any reason, anything, anything that is being kept away from you without any reason, that is due to you without any reason, anything that is held back from you, today we are going to release it. Praise the name of the Lord. Because he says, that we what should set free those, not yourself, anything that what is being held back away from what those. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Whether I be your family member, whether I be any member of Foundation Ministry, whether I be anyone that you know close to you, you are going to set them free today Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Because when they are held in that manner, when they are held in that manner, that means the devil has held them and is leading them to death. Is leading them to death. I'll read Proverbs chapter 24, Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 11. Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 11. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, Save those who are being led away to death. Hold back those who are about to be killed. Save those who are being led away to death. Say and hold back, I mean, hold back those who are about to be killed. Praise the name of the Lord. That is what we are going to be doing. Praise setting free those who are what held by chains without any reason. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The Lord that the enemy has what held them back, held them down with a chain. They are not able to move. Those who are stagnant in one place that are not able to move, that we know 
in our lives that 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 we, that we we have relationship with praise the name we need to pray for them Amen. that they be released Amen. hallelujah Amen. praise the name of the lord hallelujah. and as we are praying that we are praying for the people of this nation that are held bound by what religiosity praise the name of the lord Amen. we're going to ask them ask the lord to loose loosen them from that chain in the name of jesus Amen. praise the name of the lord hallelujah not but two things Number two thing that the Lord says we should do when we are praying, when we are in time of fasting, he says what? To untie ropes that have held people slave. Mm -hmm. To untie ropes. We are going to be untying today. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Untying those ropes that have held people slave. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. When you are talking of slavery, that means you have no choice but obeying what is uh, the, the, the master. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. That means we are bound. Anyone that is bound today that we know we are going to untie that rope. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And release them into their freedom. And release them into their freedom. One thing that God has promised us, even as apostles, when she started, is that we are going to have freedom. We are going to experience freedom. In, after this, I mean, we even be in, the, in the process of this fasting yes, and prayer, yes. we are going to express free, freedom on every Amen, side. Jesus. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name Jesus. of the Lord. Amen. Why is the Lord saying we should want to untie those ropes? Because the Lord says in Jeremiah chapter 50, from verse, 30, from verse 33 and verse, uh, th uh, verse 34, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 33 and 34, he says, The people of Israel are being treated badly. So are the people of Judah. Those who have captured them are holding them. They refuse to let them go. But I am strong and will save them. He says, I will stand up for them. Amen. God, we're going to ask God to stand oh, up. Stand up for, stand up yes. for anyone that is being held yeah, bound. So for anyone that is being held yeah. bound. God, stand up stand for them. Up for us, he says, what? I will yeah. save them. This is promise. He says, I will what? Save them. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says he will stand up for them Amen. and he will bring peace and rest Amen. in their land. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So we are going to be praying that, that the Lord untie every rope that is holding people in bondage. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The next thing the Lord says, he says what? In Isaiah chapter 58 from verse 6, hallelujah. He says what? We should set free those who are crushed hallelujah Amen. anybody that you know that is crushed in the spirit crushed in any way that is beaten up that is bruised by the enemy that has been defeated by the enemy we are going to set them free today in the name of jesus anyone that is what bruised that is beaten up that is crushed by the enemy we are going to what that is overwhelmed with problems we are going to release them today praise the name of the lord hallelujah he says set those who are set free those who are crushed praise the name of the lord and if you remember in galatians chapter 5 verse 1 galatians chapter 5 verse 1 he says what it is for freedom that christ has set us free it is for freedom it is not for bondage it is for freedom Amen. that Christ has set us free. Yes, when Christ said that it is finished on the cross, it is finished. The Praise the name Jesus. of the Lord. Amen. When Christ said it is finished, bondage is finished, sickness is finished, yes, ah, poverty is finished, Amen. lack is finished. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Amen. It is for freedom Amen. that Christ has set us free. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen, Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So we're going to be praying for those who are crushed in the spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Remembering what Jesus says he has come to do. I want to tell you something. When Jesus said the spirit of the Lord is upon me, Hallelujah. That Amen. same spirit of, of the Lord is upon you too. It's inside of you. Yes, yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord. So you have the power 
to do everything that Christ said. Yes. When he says the spirit of yes. the Lord is upon yes. him. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. You have the power to yes. preach the good news to the poor. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You have the power to bind up the broken hearted. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. You have the power to release the captives. Yes. Hallelujah. You have the power to open the prison yes. doors yes. to them who are what? Yes. Held captive. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And you have the power to proclaim the Lord's favor. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. You have the power to comfort all those who are mourning. Yes. Praise the name of the yes. Lord. And you have the power to grant all those who are in Zion and give them what beauty for what ashes. Hallelujah. Yes. You, are, you have the power to change situations. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus Amen. says what? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He says to change the situation yes. of people. Yes. 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 And it is upon you to change the situation of people. Praise the name of the Lord. That same Spirit is inside of you. You have the power to change the situation of people, to change the situation of yourself. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise, the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Then he says we, we are going to what? Uh, uh, break the things that concerns others. He says we must break every evil chain. Yes. Break every evil yes. chain. Yes. yes. Every evil chain. Yes. We must break. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. So it is. this is our guideline of our prayers today. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because we have been going to be using this to pray. Every evil chain, Amen. whatever the enemy has used, has tied down with a chain. Whatever the enemy is holding back with a chain. Whatever the enemy is pulling away from you with a chain. We are going to break that chain. We are going to break that chain. Praise the name of the Lord. Because God says, I will what? Save them. He says he will stand up for us. God is going to stand up for us. We are going to call him to stand up for us today. Stand up for those who we know. Stand up for people that we know. Stand up for the individuals that we know. For the group of people that we know. We are going to ask the Lord. Stand up for them. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. Then when it comes to us, when it comes to us, we have I've talked about the things that we should do for others. When it comes to us, he now said in verse 7, all that I said was in verse 6, but in verse 7, he now says, share your food with the hungry. So I want to encourage you today. This is a time to be what? Charitable. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. In the time of fasting, it's a time to be what? Charitable. It's a time to what? Give. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. He says, share your food with the hungry. Mm. Provide the homeless with a place to stay. Yes. Give the naked people close to where. Yes. Provide for the needs of your own family. That's right. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God is being specific here. He says the things that now concern you is that you should give to the poor. Yes. Give to those who are in need. Yes. Give to those yes. who don't have. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So it's a time. I want to encourage you that it's a time to give. Yes. This is a time to be charitable. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know what? In Matthew chapter 25 from verse 35 and 36. Matthew chapter 25 35 to 36 Jesus said he says for I was hungry and you gave me something to eat for I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink I was a stranger and you took me in he says I was naked and you clothed me I was sick and you looked after me I was in prison and you visited me yes hallelujah amen praise the name of the lord hallelujah that will be your portion amen praise the name of the lord amen he says for those who these are the people that are for him praise the name the people that give those people who are asking they say how is it that this happened he says the ones that when you are giving to the people giving to the people you are giving for me yes yes praise the name of the lord amen. so it's a time to give Yes. It's a time to what be charitable. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Job, you know what Job says? Job said, everything that I had, everything that I had, 
I gave to the people. Yes. Job chapter 31, Job chapter 31, 16 to 18. Job chapter 31, 16 to 18. This is what you should be doing. He said, I haven't said no to what poor people have wanted. Mm. I haven't said no. Job said, I haven't said no to what people, uh, poor people have wanted. I haven't let widows lose their hope. <laughs> he says, hey, hallelujah. Amen. He says, I haven't let, let widows lose their hope. Yes. I haven't kept my bread for myself. Mm-hmm. That is what Job says mm-hmm. he does. He says, I've shared it with children whose yes. father have died. From the time I was young, I've helped those widows. I've raised those children as father, as father's would. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. Is it time to what? Be charitable. Is it time to give? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Then the next thing that we, he said we should do when concerning ourselves, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Concerning ourselves. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In um in uh praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where are we now? Sorry. In verse 8 of chapter 58, Isaiah 58, chapter 8, part B. Part B now deals with what we too we should do for ourselves. First of all, it says be charitable. Then secondly, it says get rid of chains. You used to hold others down. What is God talking about there? He says, get hold of the chains that you use to hold others down. Praise the name of the Lord. Get rid of those chains. What are those uh, chains? What type of uh, chains are that? Are, are those chains? He says, bitterness, malice, backbiting, unforgiveness, hallelujah, slandering. You are holding people down. You are holding others down. Praise the name of the Lord. When you backbite, when you slander, when you are unforgiven, when you are what in when you have bitterness and when you keep malice, you are that is a chain. God says those are chains you used to hold other people down. Praise the name of the Lord. It's time to let go. God is saying, He says, What get rid. Yes. of the chains you used to hold on us now. Stop pointing f- your fingers at others as if they have done something wrong. Amen. Stop pointing your fingers at others. Amen. Stop slandering others. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Stop backbiting about others. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Stop saying, then he says, stop saying harmful things about them. Yes. Stop saying harmful things about others. Yes. Yes. In the time of fasting, this is the time to get rid of those things. If you know you have the spirit of backbiting, of slandering, of, of, of unforgiveness, bitterness and malice, it's time to get rid of those those uh, uh, spirits. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because God says in the time of fasting, we need to get rid of it. Get Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. Get rid of it. Yes, Lord. Get rid of it. Amen. Praise Amen. the name of Amen. the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And God says, and God says, when it comes to the time of fasting, when we have prayed for others, when we have dealt with ourselves, something happens. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Something Amen. happens. Amen. In Isaiah 58 and verse 8. Isaiah 58 and verse 8. He says, then when you have prayed for others, when you have dealt with yourself, being charitable, got rid of every uh, 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 form of backbiting, of forgiveness, of unclean spirits, when you have got rid of yourself of that, then he says what? Something is going to happen. He says, then the light of my blessing will shine on you like the rising sun. Another version says, then your light will break forth. Hallelujah. Your life is going to break forth. In, after this, I mean, in the, in the process of this fasting, your life is going to break forth. 
Jesus. Nothing dark. Any dark situation that you are facing will be quenched. Will be quenched. In the name of Jesus. Then he says, I will heal you quickly. Your healing, he says, will come speedily. Your healing will come speedily. When this happens, when you pray for others, get deep with yourself, sanctify yourself. He says, your light will break forth. He says what? I will heal you quickly. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Then he says, I myself will march ahead of you. Yes, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I myself will march ahead of you. Amen. He says, and my glory, hallelujah, Amen. and my glory, glory he Masa. says, will be behind you as yes, a God. Will be behind you as a God. Yes, Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And when the glory of the Lord is behind you, automatically that glory is going to shine Ooh, upon you. Yes, Lord. Praise the name of Amen. the Lord. That is why we are saying to yes. This fasting and prayer is going to be a time of what? Deliverance and glorification. Deliverance and glorification. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And other things that he says will happen to you. Other things that he says will happen to you. Praise the name of the Lord. In verse uh, 8, he says, he says, my blessings will light up your darkness. Yes, Lord. My blessings will light up your darkness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Then he says, I will always guide you. I will always be your guide. I will always be your guide. Hallelujah. Amen. Then he says, I will satisfy your needs. Amen. I will satisfy your needs. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I will satisfy you. He says, what, no matter what your need is, I will satisfy it in the name of Jesus. He said, you will be like a garden that has plenty of water. You will be refreshed. You will be continually refreshed by the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So now we are just going to enter into prayer. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We are going to enter into prayer. And the first thing is we are going to set free those who have been held by chains without any reason. If there's something being held back by uh, 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 from somebody that you know, include yourself too, it doesn't matter. Include yourself. If there's something that is held back from you or from somebody that you know, let us pray now that, we are, that the Lord will stand up and set that thing free in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So let us go ahead and set free from those who are in chains for no reason. For no reason. We set them free. We set them free. We set them free. We set them free. Anyone that is in chains, even at this hour, for no reason. No katanya lava. We set them free in the name of Jesus. Any of our properties that are not in chains, for no reason. We set them free in the name of Jesus. Everything 
He says we should untie ropes Amen. that hold people's slaves. Listen to the prayer, please. Untie the ropes. Untie the ropes that hold people as slaves. That is what we are going to do now. Amen. We are going to untie ropes. Whatever rope the enemy has used to tie up anyone, to bind up anyone, praise the name of the Lord. We are going to lose those ropes. We are going to lose those ropes in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever rope the enemy has used to tie up our property, to tie up our joy, to tie up our peace, to tie up anything that belongs to us or anyone that we know, any member from the church, we are going to untie in the name of Jesus. So let's go ahead and pray. And as we are praying, we are untying. We are untying. Visualize it that you are on time. That you are on time. That you are on time. Make a tire of a shot to come here. Must take a year. We are on time. We are tired. We are tired. Every room that you has used. Not to not tie of destinies. To tie of our companies. To tie of our minds. Lord of the Lord Almighty. I Lord on time. Every room. Now in the name of Jesus. In the spirit of God. I untie our joy that has been held back in the name of Jesus. I untie our peace. I untie our Lord. Finances. Our Lord, God Almighty. Lord, our favors that have been tied off, Lord. I tie our time in the name of Jesus. Oh, our divine helpers. Lord, that have been tied down. Give them this power. Let them be all untied. In the name of Jesus, I am tied. 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 I am in the spiritual realm, whatever Lord God Almighty, the enemy has tied up, Lord God Almighty, I am tied. She can have a soul to go to Alaba, Raka does a protest to Kia, Raka does a book of the Kia. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Sapaya Lagan. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now we are going to set free those that are crushed. Ha, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Those that are crushed. Amen. When somebody is crushed, it leads to what depression. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Anyone that is depressed, we are going to ask that the Lord stand up and set them free. Stand up and set them free. Anyone that has been bruised by the enemy, that has been defeated by the enemy, we are going to ask the Lord to stand up and Lord God Almighty and save them in the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and pray. We are setting free those who have been crushed. 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 Jesus, 
We are going to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. He says we are going to break every evil chain. Every evil chain. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Every evil chain we are going to break. Amen. What are evil chains? Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. What are evil chains? Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Evil chains are those forms of sicknesses. Cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, all those kind of things are evil chains. Yes. That the enemy will just rope around. Mm. And someone will be carrying it around. Mm. No. We are going to break those chains. Amen. We are going to break away Amen. from those chains. Amen. We are going to break. Amen. In the name of Jesus. 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 No evil chain will hold you back. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going for for the charitable for the charitable event. We are going to ask you to do it yourself. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It says be charitable. I want you to go out and be charitable. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But we are going to pray this prayer. We are going to pray this prayer because it says get rid, get rid of those chains that you used to hold others down. It's a very important prayer. Amen. Get rid of those chains you used to hold others down. The chain of backbiting, the chain of slandering, chain of unforgiveness, chain of bitterness, chain of malice. We are going to say give way in the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and pray. This is a prayer for yourself. Ask the Lord to deliver you. Deliver you from every unclean spirit. Every unclean spirit. Oh, the spirit of backbiting, the spirit of slanting, the spirit of unforgiveness. Bitterness, malice. Anyway, this spirit, Lord, Lord God Almighty, are operating in me. Lord, I say, let them be not quenched today by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, we forgive all those who are against us. In the name of Jesus, Lord, as we let go of every man of power, of power, of sunshine, I receive the spirit now. In the name of Jesus, the spirit, Lord, of God Almighty, of forgiveness, I receive the spirit of God. I receive today. Oh, Shakataya, Rikadaya, deliver us, deliver me, deliver Lord, deliver of all the children. Lord, for any spirit, Lord, for your mercy, of slander, oh, of not malice, of bitterness, of not fighting, oh, in the name of Jesus, of all the children. 
Then something happens. He says, Our life will break forth. Amen. Praise the name of the Amen. Lord. We are going to pray that prayer. That prayer, hallelujah. Let my light break forth. Mm. In the midst of this what? Of this fasting and prayer. Mm. This 14-day fasting and prayer. Let my light break forth. Yes. Let the light of my children break forth. Yes. Let the light of every member of foundation ministry break forth. Amen. Let the light of everyone connected oh, online. Let it what break forth Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. He says he will satisfy our needs. We are going to ask the Lord in this period of fasting and prayer, satisfy our needs. Satisfy our needs. Satisfy our needs. In the name of Jesus. Let's go ahead and pray. Oh, Frale Kedea, Hira Pasha Katayalaba, Rekato Saku Frale Kedealaba, Lord, even as you have promised, Lord, satisfy our needs, satisfy the needs of our children, of every member of the Shop Ministry, worldwide, everyone that is connected to the Lord, even as we pray now, satisfy their needs, satisfy their needs, let there be no lack in the name of Jesus, our needs, let them be met, oh, Karaba Shaka Kedealaba, Rekatayalaba, for you say, Lord, ah, I will satisfy Lord your needs. Oh, we hold on to your word in the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, I will make you stronger. Stronger. Hallelujah. And we know the Bible says that what? Those who wait upon the Lord, the Lord says he will renew their strength. Hallelujah. Amen. That in this period of fasting, the Lord is going to renew our strength. Amen. He will make us stronger. Amen. He will make us stronger Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. He will make our children stronger. Amen. He will make every member of the family stronger Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go ahead and pray that prayer. Make us stronger in the name of Jesus. According to your word, Lord, in Isaiah chapter 58, you say, Lord, God Almighty, that in the period of fasting, you will make us stronger, 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 physically, but materially, financially, spiritually, emotionally, academically, oh, Kataya, business-wise, you will make us stronger, 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 in the name of Jesus. Strengthen us, renew our strength. Call us to run and not win, like that will be Or call us to run and not be weary. Call us to run, walk and not change. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Release our strength. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says you will be like 
gardens that have plenty of water, you will be refreshed. Amen. We are going to ask the Lord to refresh us. Yes, Lord. Refresh me. Yes, Lord. Refresh my family. Amen. Refresh every member of foundation ministry. Refresh everyone that we know. Amen. The ones who connected online, Amen. Lord, refresh them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go ahead now oh, and pray that prayer. Lord, refresh. Lord, refresh. Hey, Lord, refresh me, Lord. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Refresh us. Hey, Katara basa kataya lava. Hey, Poni kataya lava. Hey, Sokoria. Refresh us, Lord. Refresh us. Hey, Katoria lava. Refresh us. Refresh us. Refresh us. Refresh us. On every side. Refresh us. Go physically, materially, academically. Spiritually. Lord, in every way. Refresh us. Makota sakoria lava. Let us be like that plant. Planted, O Lord. In the garden of waters, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Finally, finally, we are going to pray this prayer. Hallelujah. And that is in uh, verse 12. In verse 12 and part B. Verse 12, actually, in verse 12. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 12. He says, Your people will rebuild the cities that were destroyed, and you will build again on the old foundations. Tell somebody I will build again. I will build again. Ah, no matter what ruin the enemy has left, I'm going to build again. Amen. By the power of the Lord, Amen. I will build again. Build Hallelujah. Again. You know, when there are ruins, that means they see something that you can build on. The enemy thought he has not taken everything, but he has left ruins for you. You will build again. Amen. You will build again. Amen. You will be, I say you will build again Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because the enemy has not stolen everything. Amen. He has left what is called ruins. Amen. And with ruins, you can build again. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I'm going to pray that the Lord help us to build again. No matter what the enemy, what he has stolen, no matter what he has taken from us, no matter what the Lord he has, he has, uh, uh, has, 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 has stolen, we are going to ask, Lord, I will rebuild again. I will rebuild again in the name of Jesus. Cause us to rebuild again in the name of Jesus. By the power, O Lord, of the Holy Ghost, cause us to rebuild again. Cause everyone online to rebuild again. Every member of foundation ministry to rebuild again. Makana, the power and the anointing to rebuild again. O Palakata Yalaba, we receive it in the name of Jesus. The power and the anointing to rebuild again. Makoto Sukunya is released today. Is released today. Is released today. Rebuild again, I declare, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank you for joining us. Hallelujah. I want to thank you for joining us today. The Lord has blessed us mightily with His word. Hallelujah. And I know that anyone that is tied down by any evil chain has been released. You have received your freedom. Go in the freedom of Christ. It is for freedom that Christ has set you free. Walk in the freedom that the Lord has given you. In the name of Jesus. Anyone, and I say to anyone, that has a chain that you are using to hold down others. As I said, bitterness, slander, uh, 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 what do you call it? bitterness, slander, malice, what, are, what unforgiveness, whatever it is, throw it away. Release it today. I know the Lord has delivered you. And you have given it up today. It shall be no more. In the name of Jesus. Your light will break forth in the name of Jesus. The Lord will satisfy all your needs in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you stronger in the name of Jesus. And the Lord will definitely make you rebuild again in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you. Father, we want to thank you. We want to give you praise. We thank you, Lord, for being with us today. Lord, we can hold on to you. Lord, expectantly, because we know that you are going to answer. 
Thank you for answered prayers. Thank you for the testimonies we are going to hear. We give you all the glory. We say, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Cover everyone with the blood of Jesus. Watch over us, guide us, lead us, instruct us, even by your spirit this week. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I just want to pray for those who are sick at this time. Anyone who is sick at this time, the healing of the power, the healing power of God is there. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we speak healing. Healing, healing, oh God. Healing. Those who are in the house that are sick at this time, receive your healing. Those who are in the hospital, sick at this time, receive your healing. We speak the healing power of God in Asia, in America, in Europe, in Africa, you know, across the world. Let there be healing. Let there be healing. Receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. And those who don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Make room for the Lord Jesus Christ. And let Jesus flow in your heart. Let the light of God flow in your life forever in the name of Jesus. Oh, let's worship him. Let's worship him. Hallelujah. Let it, yeah, come on. The worshipers. Come on. Your name is Yahweh. You are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Yeah. 